Hello Capricorn, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. This is your general love reading for the period of March 1st until the 10th. This reading is not going to resonate for all Capricorns out there. It is for sun, moon, and rising signs. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to everybody who has been liking and sharing the videos and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So this reading may apply to any love connection, romantic, platonic, or even family. As long as you feel love for this person, it may apply in your case. For cross-watchers, please note that roles can be reversed in this reading. And for personal readings, if you guys are interested, please check my information down below. Alright, so let us see what's going on for you guys for this period of March. What can you expect in love and relationships for the period of March 1st until the 10th? Love readings for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What can they expect in love and relationships? Give us the energies for Capricorn. Love messages for Capricorn, please. For the first few days of March. Alrighty. So. Wow. Okay, so it feels like Capricorn, this first few days of March will be something very drastic. A sudden change, complete and sudden change happening with your relationships. Um, simply said, things that you thought you were building on proper foundation seems to be not you th what you thought it was, okay? Something suddenly appeared to be ingenuine. All right, something appeared to be superficial and therefore it needed to come down. All right, could be a relationship that's bound to come to an end, or it could mean simply a way of doing things within the relationship. You and your partner could be, you know, treating each other in a certain type of way, and it could be a moment of reckoning to which you're gonna start realizing what have you been doing to this relationship, and now uh, it's it's bound to come down in order for something more genuine to resurface all right because whatever this is it's not based on just emotions purity of intentions it, it it's the opposite of it all right it's based on ego it's based on pride on superficial things and it may have kept that relationship for a while um, standing but ultimately when sudden changes happen as you can see Parts of the foundation has to be taken off so that something more genuine can be built, you know, a stronger foundation. The other person is the three of pentacles. So I feel like this person is busy with their work, is busy on building something for themselves. Three of pentacles is the card of, you know, putting the effort in, in order to achieve someone's highest potential, all right? Or that you could be dealing with someone who is, let's say, a public figure. Someone who's famous for something or a celebrity. But all in all, this person is achieving his or her best right now. I think that they're getting people's attention. And they're very focused on what they want. They're focused on their craft. And they're trying to succeed in that field, in that area right now. They could have people around them helping them out. Or this could be you as well helping them out. But it tells me with the Tower card, something tragic happened with you, all right, with a relationship or a group of people, perhaps. And it, it was a complete and sudden change, but it was bound to happen because obviously when the Tower card happens, it is for a reason. It's going to take away people and things or an idea or a way of doing things in your life that it's not serving you, all right, because it, it's not for anyone's benefit. Okay, what is the overall connection for this? We have the Seven of Swords. All right, so it could mean Capricorn that you're dealing with someone who could be sneaking around doing things behind your back that you are not aware of. It could have been an act of deception from you as well because this is a general love reading. It could be, you know, vice versa. But I think that with the Seven of Swords, it's much more from deception. I feel like someone is not who they say they are. Someone is not being honest with their true intentions. Someone is covering something here, all right? And it, it almost feels like because someone is covering something, it's bound to be revealed with the Tower card right here. This deception over here 
may run its course for a short period of time, but it's not going to last for so long. And I think with this tower card right here, this lightning has struck in order to reveal people's true intentions. It may not be something that you have foreseen, nor is it something that you know you would embrace but it is something that needs to happen in order for you to see people for who they truly are and for things to be what they really are, okay? Even though people's emotions get hurt, you know, and you may feel like everything is chaotic right now, you feel like everywhere your energies are scattered, it's a lot better than living a lie or that surrounding yourself with people or relationships that are not genuine, Seven of Swords is again a card of deception, all right? And I feel like uh, it's about time. It's about time that someone gets called for their acts of deception or, um, you know, a way of doing things in your relationship needs to be taken out of the equation so that you can build this relationship on stronger foundation. And I think that you have someone here who's working hard in order to rebuild with you, all right? I don't sense that this whoever is doing the deception is your partner i think that this could just be an overall energy surrounding you and someone that you are romantically involved with or perhaps um a friend or a family member that you are involved with and you guys are facing some form of a seven of swords energy in your environment because the tower card is a card of dynamic energies happening within the environment say for example you and your partner are working towards your your um your success your relationship or this person could be working for your future and then you both are exposed to certain energies in your surrounding that are bringing you down are dragging you down these are the seven of swords energy people are not who they say they are or opportunities are not what they seem to be and so this tower card meaning you capricorn um, perhaps there has been a revelation, an aha moment, or a moment of reckoning to which you finally see things for what they are. It could have been a gift from the universe or something like an event that made you open your eyes and ears on a soul level, waking you up, you know, and you finally see the situation for what it is. That there are certain in energies in your environment that are working against your favor. So now that this is being revealed to you, what are you going to do about that? Are you going to work on um, ignoring the situation? Or are you going to confront the situation? Are you going to hide from all of these changes going on? Or are you going to face it head on and say that this is not going to bring you down? Rather, this is something that you can learn from. All right? And I feel like with the three of pentacles over here, I could feel that this energy is you and your partner working together together. All right, or this could be you both individually working on your goals and together you both collaborate on wonderful things, producing a wonderful outcome. All right, but still, you should be very careful on the Seven of Swords energy. I think that everywhere right now, you're going to be shocked with people revealing their true intentions, and there's going to be tower card after tower card. And I think that Capricorns are not new to tower cards any longer. You both, um, you both, you and your partner, are not new to this. I think that for some time now, you both are aware there are energies surrounding you that could be manipulative, you know, and could easily take advantage of you and your partner's relationship. So now that you are aware of that, what are you going to do about it, Capricorn? So let's see, what is the challenge for Capricorn? Ooh, a card fell out there. Just give me a second, guys. So the card that fell out for you guys is the Magician card. As a challenge energy, yes, see, the tower brings down um, things that are not serving you because that needs to be taken out of the equation. It needs to come to an end. It, it no longer will serve you at the moment nor anyone significant in your life. So with the Magician card, this is the first of the major arcana. So this talks about beginnings, right? About taking control of your life, having the willpower to surpass everything that is, you know, is in your environment and working with what you have. Say, for example, that you and your partner are working on something, or this could just be you, pretty much you working on your life, your career, and then suddenly someone takes advantage of you and you suddenly realize what that is all about. 
And so instead of thinking of it as a loss, a lost opportunity, a lost relationship, or a lost cause, you see it as an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to see a better life for yourself, all right? You finally have unlocked a different perspective on the situation and now you're you're going to tap on your on your skill set on your resources and see how you're going to bounce back from the situation so that is a challenge card is asking for your action all right because it it may seem like for a time now you're just on um a receptive mode if you will you you've just been on a standby seeing things and people for what they are but you haven't truly taken action so with the magician card right now it's a it's a great yang energy it's time to put yourself and your ideas on action. No longer are you going to stand on the side and watch people do things or things happening in your environment. I think this is a wonderful opportunity for you to step in to that level, step into that shoes that you need to fill in and, you know, put your your big girls or big boys pants on, you know, and start to take action, take control of uh, your life. All right and see it as an opportunity to grow you know everywhere there's opportunity and that is how you know the tower card served its purpose it's as if the universe stepped in to clear everything that is not meant to be in your life so now is the time for you to jump in the mix and take advantage of that moment because the things are being taken away right now it's also an opportunity for you to start things that are beneficial you know to to plant a seed of good things Things that are going to bring you growth, fortune, prosperity, wealth, love, you know, everything that is beautiful. So take advantage of that. So how do you feel right now in this situation, Ka? Let's see how do you feel for this situation or this person involved. We have the nine of pentacles. So it, it almost feels like, yes, you are aware of this. Like I mentioned, you're not new to this tower card anymore. It almost feels like you've been witnessing this happening in your environment, but you have not chosen to take action of it up until now. So whatever the situation is, I feel like um, not only have you been given a chance to act and do things differently or plant seeds of, you know, long term, long term relationships, long term um, opportunities for yourself with the magician card over here. But this also means it has revealed your blessings, your true blessings, where it truly lies. Take, for example, this tower card, strip you off on fake friendships, on fake opportunities. But whatever has been left, you, you worked on that opportunity, and now you feel like, you know, you don't need anybody else. You can rely on your sense of independence. You can rely on your own, on your own gifts, on your own um, skill set, in your own resources, and you can still achieve, you know, your highest potential. You can still get everything you've been working hard for. And bear in mind, the Nine of Pentacles is not an easy state to be in. It is a hard-won piece. Because this Tower card has been so eventful, so eruptive, and so explosive. What you've been through is difficult, Capricorn. But look at that. You bounce back from it. And you bounce back hard you know comeback is real with the nine of pentacles you have the resources you have the abundance and you are thriving all right you are living your best life so far despite all of these challenging energies in your environment all right with the nine of pentacles i feel like for some of you you are choosing to be single perhaps it could have been an act of deception from a partner all right or a person you know and it's as if you're saying you no longer care you no longer care about the situation. You're letting it go. You're rather focusing on your money. You're focusing on your career. Again, you're learning from the situation very well. You're handling it very well. You're, you're being productive still. And you're not focusing on the bad things or what this deception really is. But also learning from that situation and using it to your advantage. And look at what it allowed you to become. Someone fearless and someone independent. Not afraid to tap into their own power. And that is something powerful that you have right now, Capricorn. So do not be afraid of this tower card. If anything, it will serve its purpose to reveal you your true purpose right now. Okay? 
So the other person, we have the Eight of Wands. So it feels like whoever this is, I, I'm beginning to see that this really is not your um, romantic partner. It could be a workmate, a friend who may have deceived you with money or may have deceived you or manipulated you in some ways. And I think that they're troubled right now. You see, they're, they're maybe receiving some mixed signals or, con or confusing and fast um, news of some sort regarding this tower say for example you've broken up with your friendship or you caught someone with their act of deception and they're bewildered as we speak all right they don't know what the hell is going on they, they feel really rattled with all of these changes all right so not only you do you feel the tower card but I think that the only difference here is that you have a moment of revelation all right the other person seems to be um slowly feeling the effects and not knowing where to go from here it's like they're they they are a bit delayed on receiving the messages that they cannot comprehend what's going on where they're going to plant their life next where are they heading what is actually going on right now they're just confused and rattled maybe they have seen this coming but they did not expect this changes going on all right they feel baffled they feel rattled all Altogether, that they don't they don't know you know what's happening next or what's coming next so i think that's that's pretty much what they feel right now and they feel troubled they feel you know not at peace with all this deception and changes going on so what is your advice for capricorn Alrighty, so as an advice, you have the Knight of Cups over here. So I feel like as an advice, do not let your emotions get the best of you, my dear Capricorn. If making a decision, it's best to rely on your logic as well. Yes, do not um, be afraid to tap on your emotional side when it comes to things. Say, for example, someone is asking for forgiveness. Make sure that you consider it in all aspects and perspective, but don't let your emotions make your better judgment. Um, on the other hand, I feel like, you know, the other person involved, they could really learn a thing or two, two about, um, about deception. I think that they are about to learn a very difficult lesson indeed with the Harfen over here. Now, I'm beginning to see that this is not really not the romantic partner you have but a group of people an institution if you will all right a group of people working together they or people that you have worked with people that you have a community with and somehow there has been an act of deception of some sort and you know they may not have expected this changes going on with you perhaps you finally you know showed them that you're not willing to go down on that level nor do you you want to be treated that way so they're a bit shocked and all these things going on and that is why they have the eight of wands they're not receiving it um in a well manner they're actually shocked and in panic that's the vibe i'm getting here because you finally broke it off you know something striking happened you've exploded you somehow given them your peace of mind and you're not holding back with you know letting them feel you've had it you've had enough so whoever it, it is you know if it's a group of people or a certain person who has deceived you, I think that now is the time for you to take advantage of the tower moment and seize and conquer your best um, your best life. Again, for those that are cross-watching, roles can be reversed in this situation. It could have been the Capricorn who have deceived you. So I feel like they're about to learn something heavy, something difficult, a life learn, learn lesson about um, perhaps communication about deception and about what it means to really work together you know that idea of working together without cheating without deceiving and manipulating someone all right so that is your reading my dear capricorn i hope that you meditate on this reading like and share this video sending guys love and light and i'll talk to you soon